So this is about the strangest video that I think we've been able to make in a long while. So far, as the time of recording this, a bit earlier I may add since this is embargoed until when this is published, but so far, we've heard that we're not getting any official announcement, any official trailer, teaser, whatever you want to point to back this up. But during a roundtable discussion with Warzone leadership yesterday, myself and about 90 other people across the community were witness to what may have been initially a slip of the tongue, but later turned into a whole discussion. But Modern Warfare 2 has been officially behind the scenes kind of confirmed. Today I want to take a little bit of time and talk to you guys about what we learned here from Modern Warfare 2, what to look forward to, and some of the plans that are in the place for the upcoming year. As we go along, absolutely crush that like button for me if you'd be so kind, if you're looking forward to Modern Warfare 2 at all, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, Season 2 content here coming up, but you best believe we're going to be keeping you up to date with absolutely everything you need to know, so if you're new, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of it. That said, let's talk about about this. So, like I said, to set the stage, myself and around 90 other people in the community, some press, some media like Charlie Intel, some of your favorite streamers may have been in there, and then your YouTube guys like myself, Zachary Immortal, Prestigious Key, and the likes. Our community was lucky enough to have a roundtable discussion here, predominantly about the future of Warzone, but that extends then into Season 2 content, and we'll have a video here talking about some of the huge changes and things coming. Honestly, some really good stuff, but some coming with the launch of Season 2 and some beyond at mid-season, and a little later on down the line. That video, make sure you go check that out. It'll be either live at the same time, live right now, or shortly after this video goes out. As of recording this, I have zero idea when I'm scheduling these videos, so just be aware, we do have another discussion here that is definitely worth checking out that you won't want to miss. But in this roundtable discussion, like 90 of us creators, we're sitting down with Pat Kelly, studio head at Infinity Ward, Josh Bridge, game director with Vanguard and Warzone, and Eric Beisman of Raven, and right off the rip, I knew we were in for some good info. Pat Kelly doesn't really usually do these things normally in terms of roundtable discussions, but when he does, of all the studio executives that I've met, he's always been the most passionate and open about any and everything. He'll say things that he probably shouldn't because he's so excited to share, and that was kind of exemplified with this call. The discussion started out by talking about the failures and acknowledging them in Season 1 with Warzone. They gave us some insight into the data tracking and all that kind of stuff that went behind the scenes, but they were blunt, they owned it, which I fully respect and appreciate that they dropped the ball with Season 1. They talked about quality of life issues and big things coming here that will push the boundaries of Warzone. Some things, Pat Kelly said, were truly big things. We didn't get any specific on that, but Pat Kelly then mentioned at one point directly with this fall when Modern Warfare launches. Now, immediately, I messaged my point of contact for PR at Activision and just messaged, I'm assuming this is off record, right? I mean, right? But little did I know that it was actually a whole topic of discussion they planned on going into because a little later on, we had a full slide of our presentation entitled Stay Frosty in 22. Now, up until this point, we heard those rumors that Infinity Ward would be at the helm for air quote Warzone 2 internally named or whatever you want to call it at that point. But the contents of this presentation slide had four main talking points. Number one, Call of Duty 2022 is a sequel to Modern Warfare 2019. Two, new game plus Warzone designed together from the ground up. Three, massive evolution of BR with all new play space and a new sandbox mode. And four, new engine powering both new game release and Warzone. So my mind near exploded during this because that is a lot of stuff that was not confirmed up until this point that officially speaking was. Yes, it was probably the worst kept secrets in gaming, but it is something that seeing that officially listed out with no acknowledgement or official reveals from the Call of Duty brand, it was kind of crazy. But right off the rip, let's break this down. I've seen a handful of leakers claim that we were shown the Modern Warfare 2 logo, associated key art, and stuff like that. Full stop, we didn't. I wish that we did, but we didn't. So that, I have no idea. The color scheme, logo, key art, any of that. Honestly, I don't know where that rumor even came from, but it's just all discussion-based. And to go further, the name Modern Warfare 2 was never explicitly stated during this call. Even having listened back to my audio, recording again, not once in about two hours of a roundtable discussion was it explicitly stated 
Modern Warfare 2. I mean, like I said, it's the worst kept secret right now in gaming, and it's gonna be obviously Modern Warfare 2, but from us seeing anything to the official reveal, and then that quick turnaround between those events, perhaps, we're still a little bit of a ways off, I would imagine. Right now, that current rumor is May, but we don't know. But the talk of a new game plus Warzone designed together from the ground up kind of is resetting everything here. It's kind of how Warzone was for Modern Warfare, but with a little bit more of the grand vision at the very inception of what they were doing here at this. This actually was something that my theory was a little bit confirmed here by Pat Kelly during this roundtable discussion where he said when they started making Warzone, it wasn't anything more than what we saw with Blackout, where it was going to be a game mode specific to one particular title. And then it was switched up and we ended up getting this go global and as a standalone. But because of that, it was tethered to Modern Warfare. It was limited by what Modern Warfare could do. So therefore, that same sort of mentality of starting over and building something from the ground up is there, but it's going to be standalone. It's going to be designed with the idea of being able to outshine one particular main year of support for a Modern Warfare 2. So that's something that's absolutely awesome to hear and pretty important of note when we talk about Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 here at this. Now, one thing talking about that future and the new product here, the brand new game that it will be, full disclosure, this wasn't something that seemed to be confirmed outright, but it was kind of danced around. We heard that idea that we'd have a clean slate, that Modern Warfare 2 weaponry would be the only weapons we see within Warzone 2. And again, it was kind of danced around, but we also didn't get any direct confirmation if we'd have any integration here come this December around season one of when that content would roll out, or if we're going to have to wait until the March timeframe here for all of this. It kind of seemed like the latter here, waiting until the full launch of Warzone 2, but right now that's still up in the air. They also said that massive evolution of BR with all new play space and a new sandbox mode would be coming here with Warzone. That's something that I'm actually incredibly excited to see here. The sandbox mode should make for some fun stuff. Right now, private matches we really only can work around with when you have like 20 friends or something like that to start up a private match, but to be able to do whatever you want in a sandbox mode, build out something or have some fun just being creative, that's pretty cool. And as for a massive evolution of BR, Pat Kelly and the rest of the heads here that we're talking teased a bunch of stuff in terms of like grand scale disruptive things coming to Warzone as we know it right now, but they didn't ever give specifics. It was kind of hinted at like, hey, we're going to see some really big stuff coming, but we're not ready to talk about it just yet. So that'll be interesting to see how that all shapes up. And then the new engine powering both new game release and Warzone, again, kind of coming back to that clean slate, starting over where Warzone and Modern Warfare were this time in 2019. The new engine is going to be something that kind of resets and sets a new precedent for the upcoming two to three years, perhaps in the life cycle of Call of Duty, but it's going to be massively improved upon from what they've said, from what we've seen in Modern Warfare 2019, to Vanguard even, to what we see next. So it sounds all pretty promising. And again, it's kind of cool that they dropped this stuff literally out of nowhere. We weren't expecting this at all. I honestly, whenever we were getting ready for this call, I kind of was talking with Zach or Immortal and I was like, what could they really be showing us that we haven't seen for season two or slightly beyond already? I mean, we kind of had all these things hinted at, but this, I can totally see why they wanted to have that roundtable discussion to talk about some of the bigger things here and confirm some stuff that we hadn't quite seen just yet. So very excited here for this, but that's where we're going to wrap it up. Again, check out the other video going live on the channel here, either up already or shortly thereafter, talking about these quality of life changes and big changes coming to Warzone here in Season 2, the mid-season update of Season 2, and beyond. So, what an interesting takeaway here from all of this and stuff that was confirmed that I did not expect to be confirmed. As for a reveal itself, I'm again not expecting this for a couple of weeks to a couple of months perhaps here now at this point, but it was one of those things where in having to talk about the future of Warzone, they also kind of had to talk about the other project that they were working on. So we'll see what comes of this all, but want to share with you guys what we learned. But that said, that's what we're going to wrap it up. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys looking forward to a Modern Warfare 2, a Warzone 2, whatever the case, drop it down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Warzone 2, Modern Warfare 2, and anything COD related. We got you covered with everything. So if you guys are interested, hit the subscribe button. That said, thanks so much for watching. Modest Man Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.